You want to make a British crime film? Well, you came to the right place. The easiest and most efficient way to go about doing this is to be a British person. But since most of you won't be able to accomplish that, here are some other ways to pull it off. First off, you need a catchy title. Not that many people watch these films, so it's very important to make the title as unique as possible. With that said, here are the only three options you have for creating the name of your film. Number one, title the film the location you are shooting. If you're shooting your film in Bruges, call your film in Bruges. If your characters are running from London to Brighton, call it London to Brighton. Actually, you don't even have to add in words such as in and to if you don't want to. Open up Google Maps and the name of where you are at that moment should pop up. Copy and paste that onto a poster and you have yourself a title. I'm pretty sure that's what they did for Down Terrace and Brighton Rock. Number two, title your film the lead character's name. Why bother taking the time to figure out where you are when your leading man's name is badass? Who wouldn't want to go see a movie called Harry Brown? Or Bronson? Or The Craze? Number three, if neither one of the preceding options sounds alluring, you can always randomly select one obscure word to be the title of your masterpiece. Google search random word generator and you'll come up with titles like Revolver Piggy, Scum, Snatch, and Blitz. Now when it comes to casting, you have many choices. Jason Statham, Michael Caine, Colin Farrell, or Vinnie Jones, to name a few. But really, you should go with Jason Statham. I mean, come on, he's Jason Statham. When writing your characters, you need to make sure they all have interesting nicknames, such as... Clarky. Soap. Britta. Crazy Larry. Bacon. Boris the Blade. The Duke. Nick the Greek. Morty. Turkish. Also, there should probably be a guy named Harry. Harry. Same again, Harry. I need your help, Harry. Harry. Thanks, Harry. Harry. Lastly, they all need to wear suits. Lots and lots of suits. Well, you better get. Planning. Thank you, Councillor. Right. Now, the plot of your film should be very complicated. I don't mean like, oh wow, that was interesting complicated. I mean like mentioning 15 different characters' names at the beginning and expecting people to remember every single one of the names for the entirety of the film complicated. How do you introduce your CD characters in the world they're in? Voiceover, of course. What other option is there? Wash the residue off my hands in the bathroom of a Burger King and walked home to await instructions. Bacon could see that his days of selling moody goods on street corners are numbered. I'm a businessman whose commodity happens to be cocaine. One thing I could never stand was to see a filthy, dirty old drunkie. It's rumored that Brittop's favorite means of despair involves a stun gun. Oh yeah, bloody hell. People have come to expect the dialogue in British crime films to be witty and entertaining. If you can't write witty or entertaining dialogue, have an actor with an unintelligibly thick accent deliver the lines. He then orders an Aristotle of the most ping pong tiddly in the nuclear sub. Do you like dags? Dags. What? Yeah, dags. Dags. Do you like dags? You know what looks great on camera? A British person's head exploding. Whether the head is being shot or smashed with a blunt object is really up to you. Shot himself. Once you finish the film, you need a poster. Although it is not required, it will significantly help to sell your film if you have a gun on the poster. And finally, if everything fails, you can't cast Jason Statham, you can't afford voiceover time in a studio, you can't write witty dialogue, you can't have someone pose with a gun for your poster, and you can't even make someone's head explode. Don't worry, there's still hope. The single most important thing you need to remember when making a British crime film is that you need to include a sh ton of F-bombs. Oh, get the f***ing guns! I'm not going to get the f***ing guns! You get the f***ing guns! Are you f***ing guns? You should make it your personal mission to include as many versions of the word f in your film as possible. It's an inanimate f***ing object. You're an inanimate f***ing object! I'm talking up in the hundreds, possibly the thousands if you can manage it. I'll tell you what f***ing happened. You tell me, gal. You tell me what f***ing happened. Give me a f***ing knock back, you fat f***ing c***. What did you f***ing say, c***? What? No f***ing problem with the plane, f***ing plane was fine, f***ing plane was alright, f***ing plane was perfect, it's you. You're the problem, you're the f***ing problem. Not this f***ing time. No, not this f***ing time, no f***ing way, no f***ing way, no f***ing way, no f***ing way, you made me look alright, And that's f***ing it. Follow these f***ing simple instructions and you'll f***ing be on your f***ing way to making your own f***ing British crime film.